In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly upgrade a local copy of .NET Nuke running currently .NET Nuke Professional Edition 7.0.3. Now I can see that there's a new release available. Currently, that would be 7.0.4. And if I click on the link at the very top here in the control panel, that'll take me to .NET Nuke.com where I can download that upgrade. I've previously downloaded the upgrade file, so I'm going to go ahead and right click on that file and choose to extract the contents of that file to a local directory here that I can utilize in order to perform the upgrade. Now I'm waiting for the files to upgrade. What I will do is go ahead and navigate over to the folder where I currently have the Professional Edition website running. Now this video assumes that I've already backed up the file system and the database, so I'm not going to go through the steps for performing the backup. What I'm going to go ahead and do is take the contents of the upgrade package, select all of those contents by pressing Control A on my keyboard, and if I go ahead and press Control C to copy, I can then go back to that folder where I have .NET Nuke running, and if I go ahead and click, right click and choose Paste, I can paste the contents of the upgrade package. And I'm using a tool here which will copy over all of those files. It's going to take a moment while it does paste the contents there. Now, once the contents are pasted, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to navigate to our website again. Now, I'm running a local copy of .NET Nuke Professional Edition. It's using SQL Server Express. And what we'll find once we navigate to the website and we perform a refresh is it will actually prompt us to go ahead and log into that website. Now, it'll take a moment for that refresh to occur because we've just placed a whole bunch of new files in the website, and that causes that website to recycle. As soon as it recycles and comes back, we see an upgrade screen here, which prompts us to log in to our .NET Nuke website to perform the upgrade. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my host account or my super user account and a password, and then I will go ahead and click on update website and it will go through the update steps in order to upgrade from .NET Nuke version 7.0.3 to 7.0.4. Now if I was upgrading to 7.0.5 or even 7.1, if those releases were available, I would perform exactly the same steps here. And I would not have to go from version to version. I could go from 7.0.3 all the way up to whatever the latest release is. I don't need to do the interim upgrades in between. So at this point, we just have to wait for those final upgrade steps to complete. And once it's completed, we'll be able to click on the link there that says visit website. And that will then take us back to the website, the local copy of an upgraded .NET Nuke Professional Edition site. So we'll go ahead and click on that link. Now that all those files have been installed, all the extensions and providers have been updated, our website once again has to restart, so it'll take a moment as we click on that link and we navigate back to that home page. Now once the page loads, we'll see up there within the control panel, we no longer have the update available message. We now have an upgraded .NET Nuke Professional Edition website.